Hello my beautiful angels and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video in my new place. This is actually the first time that we're filming a new vid in the room so hopefully everything goes according to plan but today's video is one of your guys absolute favorites and it's a pretty little thing haul. I bought these items with New Year's Eve in mind and what I basically wanted to test was what kind of level of bougie, what kind of quality could you get for less than £10. So most of the dress trying videos that I've done on my channel before have been £5 dresses. So this time we're going for £10 and under to see what level of quality we can get, what the fit's like, how bougie they are and how appropriate for New Year's Eve we think that they are. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and that we find some cute little pieces for New Year's Eve. If this is your first time coming on my channel, hello my lovely, I am Sabrina. Please do come and subscribe to be part of our sub fam if you like what you see. Okay, we're gonna start with one of my fave, fave, fave dresses. What is happening with the sun? There's never any sun and now it's just like shining right into my face. Let me turn it down. Hello, less sun please. The first item is actually the dress that I ended up wearing to my Christmas, my work Christmas party, which wasn't the intention, but I kind of opened up the bag and I was like, at the last minute, the dress that I was gonna wear didn't work, so I was like, could I quickly wear one of these? So I decided to go with this number and it is this really, really, really cute. I really liked it. It's kind of like a, they call it like a lime green kind of a gold um, and it does have like a green reflex. It's not like a gold gold or like a yellow gold. I honestly loved this color on. I was so so surprised and I wanted this to fit nice and like oversized and be quite like baggy and I could roll up the sleeves. So I got a size 10 in this. This was only 10 pounds and honestly the quality for this was so 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 good. I've actually pinned the front here just because I didn't have the right bra for work but if you have tape it does open quite far down so it's a little bit more risque. I love a good a kind of a dress where there's a little bit of plunge, you know, a little bit of skin. So I really love this number. Definitely going to be keeping this so, so worth the money and definitely something that could be worn for New Year's Eve. And what I really love is you can dress this down, you can wear it with like some tights and black boots or you can pop on like a really sparkly diamante shoe. You could pop on a little belt and cinch it in the middle. It's a very versatile little number so I really like it a good job pretty little thing Wish that I could stay. little satin number this one was only five pounds and I got this in a UK 8 now the first thing that I would say is that you can tell the difference between the level of satin and the material when you spend five pounds versus when you spend ten pounds so this is the dress okay excuse me it's completely undone itself here yeah. it's supposed to be it basically ties in over here and then it ties in around the waist and my gosh is it creased right now it's that kind of material where it like sniffs a crinkle and then just the rest of it it just becomes super super creased so you would need to steam this I have tried it on and I wasn't too sure. I think I wasn't all that sure about the material. I feel like it might look a little bit cheap on. I don't know if it would look better if it wasn't so creased, but in the try on part, I will show you how it looks on. You guys tell me if you think that this is a hit or a miss. I think I'm probably gonna return this because I just don't imagine myself reaching for it. I think you'll have to dress it up with some expensive accessories to make it look a little bit more luxurious, but I just don't think it's really a bit of me. I think the same thing in black would have just looked a lot better. Wish that I could stay. Oh, this is one. <sighs> Tried this bad boy on already, and this was one I was very, very sad about. Am I losing my voice? Like, what is happening with me? Okay, so I think that this is the sleeveless, I'm trying to look down at the list. I think it's the sleeveless bodycon dress, 
and it was eight pounds if that is the case honestly i'm sorry so 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 sorry about the changing lighting i can't tell you guys how much i love the sparkle on this dress honestly it's the perfect time for the sun to be out because this bad boy is bougie can you see how it reflects blue yellows honestly i love it so much so 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 much except for the fact that these arms are unreasonable one of my worst things is when a top cuts into your arms here digs in creates these little fat rolls that you don't need but also is very uncomfortable and when i looked at the model wearing it i thought mm, that could be an issue that the stress has so i sized up and i was thinking okay if i size up even if it's a bit baggy around here i really really like this and i feel like you could get away with it no we were wrong it is still tight here and you can kind of see that it it pulls a little bit i just don't think that the top does the dress any justice the glitter is amazing i would really love this maybe in a skirt or if the dress was just made a little bit better i am extremely sad about this one it looks okay on but i would just never wear it because i don't like the way that the top sits or the way that it feels but dear pretty little thing please make some more items in this really bougie like disco mermaid material i freaking love it wish that i could stay Honeys, the next item is the dark green glitter cross front plunge bodycon dress. What a name. This I got in a size 6, which I don't remember doing. Apparently I did that though. I thought I got it in an 8, but it fits fine and I really, really like this one and I'm definitely going to be keeping it. It was only £6.67. I don't know how they got to that number, but they did. This is the dress. Oh, she's just so pretty. There's nothing that I like more than a little bit of forest green and I just feel like this sparkle and crisscross the front is really basic but it's a good level of basic versus bougie it is a short dress and the material is not thick it could be itchy if they didn't have lining on the inside but i don't find it itchy at all i really really like this and i feel like it's a versatile little number again wish that i could stay mommy come to mommy there is glitter everywhere that is the best part of the festive seasons is I'm very uncomfortable I'm, I'm back she's back the best part of the festive seasons is being able to just wear an outrageous amount of glitter and sparkle and gold and it's just totally fine so this whoo, is the next number this is really cute you can tell that the material it's not thick at all like it's not amazing quality but i think when it's on it looks a lot more expensive than it is this i got in a size mm -hmm. strappy bodycon dress i think that's you 667 i feel like i've said that exact number oh it's exactly the same price as the other one that makes sense they're the same material they are made of the same like sparkly stuff and it's a similar vibe this i got an eight as well i think and this fits perfectly i do really like this i don't think i would wear it for new year's eve though i feel like i feel as if it just isn't enough for New Year's Eve. I think that the quality gives it away. I think it's more of like a festival dress. In my opinion, I would pair this up with some like Doc Martens and like a leather jacket and tights. I feel like that's quite a vibe, but I do like this and I probably will still keep this little number. Wish that I could stay. race against time right now because i wasn't gonna set up my cap my i wasn't gonna set up my lighting and now it seems like the sun just wants to set at three o'clock london london can i just not 
Okay, moving on. The next item, again, is a very sparkly number. It is this bougie, sparkly, purple, glittery dress. I really like the color um, of this purple and it's a high neck. I have tried this one on and I don't like the way that it fits on me. It seems like everything in this material is a very similar price. Now I got this in a 10 and I think that that size is too big for me. This would have been better in an 8 but I feel like something is amiss with it. It just, I just didn't love it. I feel like normally I really like a high neck. But I think in a lighter color that would have worked here. I think it needs something extra, maybe like a little cut out, like something like this, or some open back or something. I just feel like it was a little bit basic and I didn't like it on me, and it's not something that I would wear on New Year's Eve. Wish that I could stay. a little bit more basic as well if you wanted to have a little bit more of a casual New Year's Eve and wear something a little bit more downplayed and I got this neutral kind of bodycon dress this was £5.83 and I got it in a size 8 honestly looking at it here on the camera I'm like this don't look like much it actually looks fairly shit I must say the front doesn't look like a vibe but on this is so nice I was surprised. Maybe you guys won't like it as much as me, but for five pounds, like a Starbucks with some extras, this is a steal. It's a flipping steal. I just think it fits very nicely in this area. You can do a plunge really badly, and I just really like this plunge. I feel like they've still managed to keep it classy while still being a little bit badassy. Who is she? This dress is a vibe. I have ample time for it. I'm packing it for Cape Town. I think it's a little bit too casual for the kind of New Year's vibe that I would want to go for, but I really, really like this for a night out, and it's definitely going to be featuring props on the gram, so see you there. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my handles on the screen somewhere over here. Come and say hi. I post a lot of the items that I show here, so you guys can see more of how I style them up, and I post a lot of fun fashion pics, a couple of makeup ones, some rambling Instagram rants. And some food, mostly food, on my stories. Smoothies, yum. That's a vibe. So is the stress. Wish that I could stay. Wish that I could stay. Now we had to get something black, of course, because black is my favorite color to wear, other than gray, which I'm just obsessed with. Gray is my favorite color, but I just I love to wear black. And I wanted to try something a little bit more luxe. So I got this. And oh my gosh, does it look retarded right now? And I can't stop stroking it because it's so soft. This like velvet material. Off the shoulder. One sleeve. Don't know how to describe it. One side is basically like a little boot tube. And the other side is on the shoulder. And oh my gosh, it looks small here. But it actually fits quite nicely. It's not something that I would usually wear. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit more out there. But I really want you guys to let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think that this is a win or do you think it's for the bin? Uh, let me know how much were you this was. Black bamboo velvet, one shoulder, £4.17. I'm sorry. For £4.17, it's so, so soft. I wish you guys could just come on through the screen grab this and give it a little stroke down because it is very 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 soft i'm not entirely sold on this one boob number you guys will see how it looks on i don't know if it would start to annoy me throughout the night i think perhaps if both of the sleeves were like this i would like it a bit more but it's not made that way so beggars can't be choosers you tell me if you think that this is a steal wish that i could stay the last item sad very very sad and this is another one i'm sorry i'm fiddling with the tag down here that must be so irritating 
This is another one where I'm just, I'm not entirely sure. I like it, but I'm not sure that the fit is all that good. And I feel like the sizing is inconsistent with a lot of these. I think the more expensive the item, the more accurate the sizing is, I tend to find. When it's a little bit cheaper, the dress is very similar to, like the styles are very similar. I think the sizing can be very here or there. Like for me to have, I've got 10 sixes and eights here. I don't know why I went in that order, but this is an A. Uh, yeah you're an eight and it looks like a 10 to me and it's this blue kind of sparkly one shoulder dress love the color i feel like this is very different i don't own anything in this color i don't see this color out there a lot hello very cute blue i feel like this is very new year's eve i just don't always wear a one shoulder i feel like this is an awkward top to pair a bra with i think i feel like it'll hook on the bra like on this area you might need to get like some I don't know what, like ghost bra going. Um, this is a weird one. I think it's okay. How much were you? Uh, I don't know what this is. A petite navy one shoulder. This is not navy. £4.16. Right, so it's very, very, very affordable. So I do think that it's still good. But I think that it could have been done a bit better. I think if you spend a little bit more, you could get the same kind of concept in a better dress. Wish that I could stay. everything that I got from Pretty Little Thing. I hope that you liked seeing the items. Overall, I think that you can honestly get so much bang for your buck. I love Pretty Little Thing for that. If you need like last minute dresses for an event, I would recommend ordering like three or four and you can test them out and honestly it's not going to cost you a lot of money and you can just send back the ones that you don't want to use. And I think that when they're styled right, you can get away with wearing something that is so, so affordable and no one will really know. There have been so many occasions when I go out and I see girls, and no hate at all, when girls are wearing really expensive items, maybe like something designer, that are complimenting me on my dress. And I'm like, <laughs> biatch, this was five quid from Pretty Little Thing. This was a steal. So I think that you really can get something for an event like New Year's Eve. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because that makes me know that I need to do similar videos to this again. And subscribe. I really, really appreciate it when you guys subscribe to join the little fam. It supports me and it means that I can make more vids like this for you guys. But until the next one, love you so much. Bye.